terror attacks not only leave physical scars, but also emotional wounds that can take a long time to heal. We talked to Kay Wilson in our studio who experienced a horrific terror attack. She wrote a book about her experiences to help change things for the better. As an Israeli British born tour guide, I was taking a friend of mine, a Christian friend, Christine Lucan, for a hike in Israel proper on the National yeah. Trail on a Sabbath day eight and a half years ago. We were accosted by two Palestinian terrorists held at knife point for half an hour. They found my Israeli ID. They assumed she, uh, Christine was also a Jewish Israeli. They tied us up, gagged us, butchered her in front of my eyes. At the same time, they uh, stabbed me 13 times, broke 30 bones. I played dead, managed to get up and walk over a mile till I found help. Well, it's a miracle you're alive. I am a bit uncomfortable with the miracle thing because somebody died, but I'm thankful, to be, thankful sure. to be alive. And you've written a book about this called The Rage Less Travel. Tell us about the book and why you wrote it. I wrote it because in Jewish life, there's an importance about bearing witness. And I don't want Christine's life or memory to be forgotten. I also wrote it because I think a lot of people suffer terrible things. And it's like somebody's recording inside my head. It's this journey through PTSD and vis-a-vis -vis my contact with my fellow countrymen and how clumsy and well-meaning Israel is and that kind of stuff. But I wrote it also to alert the world uh, because I was in court with the terrorists. And I want people to know from their mouths, it said, they said to the judge, and it's on police film, that they murdered Christine Lucan, an American Christian, because they thought she was Jewish. And in addition to wanting to inform people why an, Amer uh, an American was murdered, uh, my, you can hear my British accent, my British government, having dual citizenship, through their foreign aid are paying the Palestinian Authority, millions of pounds, and in turn, the Palestinian Authority are rewarding my would-be murderers. So I wrote it for those reasons. And I wrote it with a, a subtext to just show how beautiful and well-meaning and kind and clumsy and, uh, uh, what would you say, dysfunctional Israel is. Well, many people call what they, uh, supporting the PA, and as they pay terrorists, uh, pay to slay. So pay to you're, slay. you're trying to fight that. I am, and President Trump stopped that. Mm -hmm. Holland have reduced the, uh, the monies, uh, but the British government, they're obstinate. They, they blatantly lie. They say, you know, we only give to teachers and to health workers, and I say, prove it. Absolutely prove it. And if I may say about my book, it's a memoir, which means it's a portion of my life, uh, and it's as much about hope as it is about hell. Uh, not one New York publisher, although they wrote back saying this is amazing, mm -hmm. it's so beautifully written, no one would publish it. Why? One letter said, because I don't mention the poor and suffering Palestinians. This is outrageous. Because first of all, a memoir is about the author, it's not about other people. But then to bring a moral equivalence on my scarred back, on the corpse of my dead friend, and virtue signal, and politically try and make a point out of Christine's murder. It's, it's beyond outrageous. Well, obviously, uh, you've been to, uh, through the hell. What is your idea about hope? What hope do you want to convey? There's lots of cliches, like time heals, God has a plan, and sometimes these don't work. And the hope that I found, all right, is in the consistency and the faithfulness of, of people, of my, my people, and Christians too that through being friends, through not advising, just through being friends, okay, we're in this together. The Jewish people, we've had a very long history of pogroms and suffering, and we're still here. And the same is for me and, and any other survivor of terrorism. We are still here, and that, that is an eternal hope. Mm. When people read your book, what, is the, what, what do you want them to take away from that? Uh, I'd like them to feel a sense uh, that Christine's death was not in vain, that it's too late to bring her back but they, they would feel enraged with the injustice of the salaries and uh, that a Christian woman was murdered because she was assumed to be Jewish. And I would love them to take away that they're gonna take action. If they're not from America, they can lobby their own uh, European governments. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I'd really like. Yeah. Oh, we and I'd like them to come to Israel and I'll be their tour guide.